Welcome to the Daily Brief, where I'll go over the high points of what happened in the market on Friday, and then see how things look for Monday, August 22nd. And we had a down day on Friday. It's a little stronger than some of us may have felt comfortable with. And it actually has turned some of our indicators even negative. We went up and we hit that 200-day moving average last Tuesday. And ever since then, the S&P has been having a real struggle to maintain some kind of upward movement. We pretty much have worked off the short and even intermediate term overbought indication that we had. But things, if we don't see some follow through buying on Monday or Tuesday, things could really start to turn more negative. So let's go back and talk about what happened. We gapped lower. There were no economic reports that came out. We gapped below S1 at 42.66. We even dropped below S2 right off the bat at 42.49. Prices then chopped even below S2, and we fell to S3 at 42.17. That ended up being the low for the day. So we saw a slight bounce from that S3 level. We were down 1.29%. Volume was below average, which is kind of strange even for an options expiration day. The technicals, they're still positive overall, but we need to see some buying come back in to the market if this positive picture is going to gain the upper hand, so to speak. Inflation and interest rates are still the real fixation for the markets. We have a whole list of geopolitical concerns. Earnings will be coming out and then this debate going back and forth of what is a recession and, and are we in one? So what are some comments? It was options expiration on Friday. So that saw a bit of a pickup in volume, but it was still below average. Germany, their PPI was stronger than expected. And that kind of spooked the markets a little bit. The PPI that was released a week ago in the US, that was more market friendly. Well, Germany's was not. And since they oftentimes will precede What we do, we want to keep an eye on that because Germany is the biggest economy in the EU. Our sector rotation and our positive setups, they're still okay, but they're starting to show some weakness overall. And we've been seeing this retreat since trying to test the 200-day simple moving average, and it's continuing. We still have the 10 to the 2 and the 10 to the 5 yield curves that are inverted. We're back to more neutral with our fear and greed reading. We didn't have any economic reports. We're still in a positive trend. The ADX is still looking okay, but it's starting to show some weakness. And I've switched the bias. That's the day in and day out movement because we had a pretty strong down day on Friday. I switched the bias to negative and I'm switching the momentum back to mixed because we had this positive backdrop that's starting to wear off a little bit, but it could come back. So that's why I have it set it mixed. So what's our outlook then? The technicals, they're positive, but Friday's decline was a bit more intense than what we had really hoped for at that point. Sentiment is back to neutral. We don't have any economic reports coming out. We've got the whole list of geopolitical events of things, but inflation and interest rates are still the biggest concern, but any one of these can become at the forefront at any time. We're not really going with a down scenario yet, but we still have a lot of headwinds that are listed here. The technicals are still positive, so we can't really go against that, but they're starting to show some weakness. We're still sticking with the up scenario right now because the the technicals are positive, but they could be stalling out. And there's still this real disbelief that the market can go higher. Our scenarios, they're still in play and our sector rotation and our setups, they're still in play, but they're showing some weakness right now. The technicals, the big one right now to me is the 200-day moving average, because that's the line in the sand between positive and negative. If we can't get above that, the market's going to have a real hard time switching back to a more positive stance. Or maybe it's just taking a pause, backing up a little bit, and then it will be able to take an even faster run or harder run to break through that moving average in the near future. We're not going sideways right now, so we can't really use that as one of our scenarios. So our conclusion then, the S&P is positive, but it could be starting to weaken. We need to see follow through buying. Short term, it's positive, but weakening. It may be weakening in the intermediate term. And long term, we still are negative as long as we're below that 200-day simple moving average. 
So thank you. Please tune in to the full length daily video that I posted. If you want to see the charts and see more of an explanation, I will be preparing the weekly video and the intermarket analysis video over the weekend. So I hope you find those helpful as well.